Hello and welcome to another episode of the Facecast. I'm this. Eric. <laughs> That's Joe. Uh, hello, everybody. And I told I'm Joe to listen to an album. He didn't. I did, which I'm actually... I listen, I'm a little bit mad about this, Joe, because you told me to listen to uh, an album the week that Sufjan uh-huh. Stevens came out with the saddest album of all time. Um, so it I detracted from my Sufjan that. listening. And, and I'm a little mad about that. Sufjan okay. Stevens, you were also really late to give me an album. What it was like? It was like Wednesday. Yeah, so late. Did you have time? <laughs> it's like a whole week. Yeah, like almost a whole week. Um, it's less than a week. It's literally less than a week. Have you have you heard about this? Who's this Sufjan, Sufjan Stevens? You don't know Sufjan Stevens at all. Uh, he's just a guy who makes no. music. But he oh. so okay. so. Uh, what's I don't know how you pronounce it. G- G- Guillain Gillian Barr syndrome. Where your body like shuts down, uh, everybody was like, "Why is he not promoting his new album?" It turns out it's because he has he had that he almost died, and he's slowly recovering and regaining the ability to do anything, which is terrible. He also came out with this album, and then when it dropped, dedicated it to the memory of his late partner, who I guess had di- I don't know what he died of, but he died like recently, very tragically at like the age of forty five. And the album is Ooh. just just wonderful, just beautiful, great album, really, really, one of his best. Honestly, I'm a big mm. fan. The last time that I really loved one of his albums, it was after his uh, mom and stepdad had passed away. It was about them, and just a just a great album, mm. man. That guy can capture his you just sadness in a bottle, his grief. Yeah, mm. wonderful stuff. Got my sadness in a bottle. <laughs> Gotta rub it the right way. Is that is that how the album goes? Is that no? It's is that not pretty close. It's it's close, oh. but it's it's not quite. He's got a little bit. You know, the mm-hmm. thing about Sufjan Stevens is that I think you might like him because about eighty percent of his songs sound like they could be sung by a cartoon crab. They're like a little Disney ish. Like I'm surprised that they haven't hired him to do a Disney movie, and he probably hasn't done it just out of integrity. But um, right, that's why he hasn't done it. Sure, but they're all like, <laughs> uh, I, like he'll be sad, and then it'll be like the bass player, the bass, the chart player, the chart, and it just you know what I mean. No, because you're terrible at explaining it. But it I'll turns give it a into it turns into like under the sea. Like you know that part in, under the sea where he's like the bass player, the bass, the cop player, the top, the four, 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 four. like all of his songs sound like that. I swear to God. <laughs> Okay, gotcha. And then they have like, and then they have like a harp that goes. Yeah. You look, you look like extra tired, Joe. Can you? What? Uh... <laughs> I am very tired. I went. I'm just very tired. I'm, I'm, I'm also quite tired, but I'm, but I'm pushing through. You know what I did this weekend? Um, what did you do? I went to the to the disco. Yeah, that's great. I oh, went to the disco. My my knees hurt. Still, actually. Oh, from it. okay. And then I and then I worked you know, immediately in the morning, which was not that fun. Did you get my message? Which message? Well, prior prior to going to the disco, I called Kevin to tr- to last effort try to get him to go to the disco, and I I was I, I had just drank a bunch of Fireball, and I. <laughs> had told him oh, to tell you that oh. your taste in music is terrible. Um, but I guess he didn't convey that. I also told him to say hi to everybody. Patrick, Robbie, everybody else. <laughs> oh, oh, he was on the phone on Friday. I saw him. <laughs> he Because we have video, we do a video uh, D&D session on yeah. Friday. Yeah. Um, and uh, I saw him on the phone, but he muted himself. Because also he probably didn't want to tell a lie. So... He's not Pinocchio, Joe. He can tell lies. Yeah. Yeah, he can, which is which means he didn't want to. Listen, I don't actually think that about your taste in music, Eric, Joe. listen. I know you don't, because I have great taste in music. Meanwhile, you will have the same amount of affection for a raccoon scratching against the wall as you would, say, a beautiful symphony by Mozart. So what? <laughs> I can't 
take your musical taste seriously. What sounds My favorite like part raccoon? about this whole interaction, scratching against the wall, anything for Gazy from you, you made me listen to. Anyway, um, I love how you started this conversation with like, Joe, you look extra tired today. What's going on? And as I, before I explain, it's like, I'm also pretty tired, <laughs> you know, but I'm powering through. Like you're trying to throw shade on me for being tired and having a good week. So, you know, not a good week, a rough week. It's my favorite part about all this. And then uh, I should He's mad because toys. I didn't listen to the I know, right? He's mad because I didn't listen to the album I gave him because I was fucking busy as all shit all week. Like literally busy. Like constantly. But you're gonna do I, it this I week. I'm right? very tired. Yes, I'll do, do it this week. week. Yes. I will, you're gonna be so mad. I'm week. so excited. You're gonna be so mad. Why am I gonna be mad? You're not gonna like it. <laughs> what why would you why would you just give me an album I'm not gonna like? I don't know, I like it. It's, I love it. It's excellent. It's amazing. It's transplanted. You say ev you see everything you like is amazing and is the best thing ever. It'll you say that about fucking, literally everything you like. It's gonna melt your fucking face off, but not in a good way. Not like Metallica melt. Melt my face is like off. chemical I do burn like melt. Metallica melt. What was no. the band you gave me? You gave me uh hold on. Uh you won't get what you want by daughters. That's, is that's the, right, baby. Is the, is the album I'm going to listen to and review next week. But for this week's solo review, and I think that's what we should do moving Wait, forward. You, you want uh, me to re review the album despite the... Uh, yeah. All right. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to lay into you some I more then, Joe. Music. I know your Go back for hurts. It. <laughs> it's going to be okay. <laughs> Listen, my back hurts because I have to carry this show and my job. So I don't know why. I, I'm going to be fine. I'm used to doing it. The album that I oh. had to listen to, which detracted from my Sufjan oh. time, was um, Candy Coated Furry by Real Big Fish. Fury. What, Candy Furry. Coated Fury. Oh. Fury. Uh, well, it's got a little rabbit on it, I thought. It reminded me of Judy Hopps. And I thought... God, you're weird. fucking... You're such a porn freak. <laughs> He's not okay, everybody. Like, I may be tired, but I'm not as horny as a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> or at um, least, even though I am, I hide it better. <laughs> Listen, I just... I, re I, re I read it how I sees it. Um, it the, the album is, is, a, is, a, is a ska album... <laughs> So you know, Scott, there's, yeah. There's that. Uh, listen, here's the thing, man. Let me let, 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 oh, let me find oh, a way to we'll, see, we'll shit on ska music, but no, let me find a way to begin this. Transcendental. Here, no, no, here. Let me see what I'm gonna say. You're right. Let me see what I'm gonna say. You're right. I I, I think You're it's right. I think it's kind of hard to fuck up ska. I think if you have a band that's like solid at the ska thing, then they kind of do the the horns and they they do the thing. So it's nice. It's pleasant in that regard. You know, uh -huh. I, I'm uh -huh. I'm down for ska. Some some fucking you know the third wave shit is 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 pretty cool. There are bands that I feel like I prefer to listen to than Real Big Fish, like Streetlight Manifesto, yeah, yeah. Mighty Mighty Boss. You tried to be like, "Hey Joe, have you listened to Streetlight Manifesto? I, I want to give you their album." And I'm like, I said, I, to to I prefaced that because you sent me Real Big Fish, and I know you like Scott. Yeah, I was like, obviously, I'm yeah. pretty sure you've heard this, but. If you have not, for some reason, everything goes numb. It's like the best third wave ska album, best ska punk album. I, I think that album is really good. It's fucking, um, fucking really good. It's fucking really good. I grew up with. I grew up with turning the radio off. You know, I was there. Mm -hmm. That's fucking. We there. played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater one. <laughs> yeah, that's right, baby. And two and three. And and I watched there was a there was a flash cartoon back in the early two thousands called Waterman. Um, which was I don't think Oh a, shit. Do you remember that at all? Holy shit. Oh my god. For those of you who don't know, a flash cartoon. <laughs> god. God, that's yeah, wild. Flash that's wild. is totally gone now, huh? It's just totally Did gone. Did you watch it on Newgrounds? Uh yeah, I think so. No, well he had his own website too. Oh, I think maybe wild. I found it on Newgrounds. I can't remember. Yeah, you know everything was on new grounds, mm -hmm. but um, everything was on new grounds, baby. But Brian Waterman, the creator of Waterman, which was sort of like yes. a little bit of a Family Guy ripoff. They did a lot of cutaway gags. 
um, was a big fan of ska. So there were songs by like Real Big Fish and Five Iron Frenzy, which is a weird, you know, Five Iron Frenzy is a weird ska band because they're like yeah, Christian. Yeah. But, and, but they don't really it, shove it in you your know, face as much as some Christian bands do. And it's still good ska music. So it's like the most acceptable ska band that I, or Christian band that I can think of, you know? Creed? No, dude. <laughs> the most acceptable Christian band you can think of is Creed, sir. This summer, get trapped on a cruise with Scott Stapp and the rest of Creed. They'll try dude, to convert you. Dude, I'll fucking, you. I'll go. That sounded like a good cruise. I don't know what you're talking about, brother. <laughs> fucking terrible. My favorite thing is uh, people trying to convert me to their religion because <laughs> they they do everything in their power. To make you feel comfortable when they when they really are in a position of not making anybody feel comfortable because they're trying to change their entire worldview in life. So the idea, the merit of like someone just trying to make you like, no, 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 this is how you should think because of this thing I have, this one thing I have with no facts, mm-hmm. and them feeding you and plying you with uh, food and water. I don't know. I find it sometimes, delightful. A very weird experience. Sometimes they'll corner you in a store. I had to avoid a guy in Target recently who was like, how are you doing, my brother? Uh-huh. And he like tried to come up to me. I was like, oh, Jesus, I get away because I know what's going to happen. And then later I saw him in the peanut butter aisle talking about somebody else. They fucking corner you. They, they just oh, come out I, nowhere. I, I, yeah, and I love that too because I'll be like, what do you want from me? I did this recently actually. It's it, Funnily enough, in a Walmart, not a Target. Um uh someone was like hey brother have you heard of blank he's doing this thing and he does a lot of good stuff about this and this uh i think he was like talking about some comedian or some like speaker and uh about how like you know he'll he'll come up and like he can help get rid of the like it's one of those things where they there's this big tent and like people walk up and the preacher like the weird not real preacher will exercise the demons and shit like that that was the shit he was talking about and I said, no, I like my demons. Um, uh, all hail Lucifer. And uh, I, I like patted him on the shoulder and walked away. <laughs> and then he tried to follow me for a bit. He's like, you shouldn't say stuff like that. I'm sorry. Uh, what? What are you talking about? You can't say stuff like that. Say stuff like what? Who are you? Have we had a conversation? Like just completely fucking with him. Like I want him to not only believe that I have a demon in me, but that the demon is the one who talked to him and not me. Yeah, you should have turned around and been It like, was not I, probably I okay. Alive. I'm alive with the power of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? A, a total total aside beyond the aside, uh, one of my favorite it's things like about my... third aside. Yeah, I know. We're, we're deep in now. We're way away from Real Big Fish. Yeah. And we'll get back to that, but... One of my one of my favorite things about my wife is that she's pretty um, well educated about religion. Her mom has a major in theology, and she she knows quite a bit. Mm. So when people come up to she, we were at, we were at the park once, and these Mormons came up and sat down, and she basically I don't remember what she said, but they started talking about specific things, and she always like has the counter ready for it. So she like oh, gave no. them information about the Book of Mormon, like specifically from the Book of Mormon to like counter what they were saying, and they just left. Oh shit! They they gave up. It was awesome. <laughs> they were like, never, never mind. Anyway, um, and she does that often. Uh, yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, yeah she's, she's she great. is friend great. of the show. Friend of the show. Yeah, <laughs> she is great. Friend of friend of me, married to me. Uh, for, some, you. for some reason, mm-hmm. uh, and, um, Eric, I'm glad you. I'm glad you never got Midsummer. Uh, yeah, no. So far, we're going to Europe in in a month, but uh, we're not going to Sweden. So, you know, I don't know. Just be careful walking far. into any forests. If you see a pole, you should. You should probably. Leave. I don't know what to do in a forest, and I don't think I've ever been in a forest, Joe. Oh, this is. Talk about real big fish. <laughs> so, real big fish. I mean, I don't know. I feel like here's the thing. I, I'd say my complaints about Break real big down. fish. I think yeah. it was a it was a little it was a little album. it was a little grading that album like f- start to finish for me. Um, just because like ska gets kind of samey. There's like a lot of the horns that do the thing. 
So if there's a lot of variety in that, I get a little tired. I feel like the lyrics were kind of like, I don't like songs. Let me tell you what. I don't like songs that are negative. (laughs) You don't like songs that are negative. You're a lying sack of shit. This is the biggest fucking lie you've ever... I'm actually waking up and getting angry right now. What do you mean you don't like songs that are negative? You little fucking shit. You love Radiohead. I can't... I can't believe you just said that, and I'm supposed to take you seriously. So I'm supposed to take you seriously. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is what I had to deal with my entire relationship with this dude. <laughs> it's these wild statements that contradict everything he says and does. They're not even lies. They're just blatant, like, false statements. He's not lying to me right now. I feel like he does, in fact, come from a place of sincerity when he says this, but he doesn't understand what he's fucking saying. It's worse than dealing with a liar. It's just a crazy person. (laughs) Fuck. Listen, I'm not going to deny the fact that I'm delusional, but what what I mean in this case is that I think that the... The, I, I like I like a negativity that's bleak. I like a negativity that is non-specific and 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 hopeless. I think the negativity in this album is like you're a fucking bitch, which is to me just sort of a wild statement. To make Ooh, all the songs, what? all the songs, all the songs lyrics are like I fucking hate you. Go away. It's totally your fault that these things happen, and I'm not crazy about that. I like a song that's like. We don't really know the source of this problem, but man, are we sad? <laughs> That's the kind of no. He likes self hate. Like. Okay, okay. This there's a lot of uh, breakup songs in this. Yeah, one, there's a lot of for there's sure. a lot of very defiant for like sure. and the yeah. album name. Candy I mean, but but Fury. it's self, but it but it's also kind of self aware. Like to feel like the song "Everyone That's Else true. Is an Asshole." That's true. Is That's like true. yeah, everyone else is an asshole, but it's also because I'm the one being an asshole. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. that's the purpose of the song. Yeah. Um, um, Dare You to Break My Heart, I feel like, is a little bit similar. I love Dare You to Break My I like, Heart. I think that was probably my favorite that's, uh, on the album. That's one of my favorite songs on this album. Um, uh, uh, mainly because I like, the, uh, I like the, the melody of the vocals toward the beginning where he's like, he does like sort of a, it's, it's pretty wordy, but he fits it in nicely. Um, yes. I like that a lot. Um, uh, don't stop skanking was fine don't stop oh and and the other song that i was gonna mention though is 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 lost cause i think also it has some sort of dual accountability in it um Mm -hmm. don't stop skanking is is good but it was it cracked me up because at the end it just turned into the specials i was like that's why i like this because it's by a a ska band that i like more um Uh but but that's fine i liked uh I liked I know you too well to like you anymore. Yeah, see, and that's because that is a good because they have like the the secondary singer on there. They're just yelling at each other through a fucking relationship, and then it's like, okay, but well, that, fuck it, we're here. That one reminded me of um, she has a she has a girlfriend now off of uh, turn the radio off, where they do this the same kind of like. Dual singer. Is there a duet in that? Com- yeah, dude. She has a I girlfriend now. It's got like a whole verse from the girlfriend where she's like, "Yeah, f- fuck you." Right? Am I making that up? I don't. I feel like, like it does. That. I don't know. Look it up. She totally does. I will. I will. Um, I will. Um, Lost cause is good. Uh, and then I, they, I, 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 I think one of my favorite songs on here. Uh, I, I'll listen to this album front to back because I've been hurt before. But um, I <laughs> oh, oh no! Uh, but uh, it, I kind of like how they end it with a cover, and uh, it the album does kind of tell a story about like fuck I've done through all this 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 relationship I keep having is rocky, but at the end it's still like a uh, you know I kind of want more. I hope for better by covering the promise. And I, I love that cover of the promise. I agree. It is a, yeah, I see what you mean about the flow of that album and the, and the resolution of it in that cover, which is cool. That's pretty good. And that cover is good. I feel like I've definitely heard that cover before. Um, 
Oh, I've actually made you listen to that cover before. Okay, that's because I was. I just haven't thinking... made you listen to the album. Well, you made me listen to the album now. Yeah. Now you I have. Maybe me, me listen. To but now before. you also get the cover. No, I, yeah, no, because just that, just that song. Because I remember when when uh, I sent you a cover of the Promise, and I feel like it was in reaction to the fact that you had sent me a cover of the Promise years ago. I think the, so. The, <laughs> the I Sturgle think the takeaway is the Promise is a great song. It is really one of the best songs, honestly. One it's of the best of, the best of all songs, time. Top honestly. ten, probably. Nobody makes songs oh, here we go. than when in Rome. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. No, listen. Here right, we where, would I, where would I place the promise? Probably in like the top 200. Like maybe in maybe in the 180 For sure. area. For sure the top 200. For sure. Um, um, but, uh, I mean, it's no I, butterfly, but. <laughs> you in a crazy town? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you're not serious you're not serious you're laughing because you're fucking with me you just want to make me mad by saying that anymore. butterfly <laughs> by crazy town is actually a good album a good song though <laughs> no, i think not. it's that song is that is that is that the song yeah where he's I like come my lady come come my lady you're my butterfly sugar, butterfly. <laughs> sugar baby it's not a good song <laughs> um i have a, I have a couple What's more notes one? here let's see what the one what one song about like there's i think there's a butterfly in the music video and there's like a a statue god i'm trying to think of the fucking song i don't think that's a thing it's stupid 90s 2000s music and you can keep going I'll, I'll remember it and i'll bring it back i'll bring uh, it back. i just got a couple more notes uh let's see I I wrote that the horns in, in don't and don't let me down gently were my favorite. I don't really remember them now, but I wrote that mm-hmm. for some reason. Uh, also, probably my least favorite song was "She's Not the End of the World" because uh, it had some like crowd duke dutes in it, which I'm not. Cra- I mean, I'm sure that if like I saw them live and they did that, I'd be like, do 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 do. You know, I don't know why I did the yeah. beginning of "Fly Like an Eagle" when I. I don't know either. <laughs> I want to fly like an eagle. That's not what's going to happen at the Real Big Fish show. That one was... <sighs> Why are you listening to Crazy Town? <laughs> what? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not even the song I'm trying to find out. I don't even remember anymore. No, let me see. Butterfly statue music video. I feel like there's no Fuck way that it. Google is going to know from that. I wish that it would. I wish that that was the future we lived in, but it's not. Butterfly yeah, yeah. sculpture. Ooh, that's probably not what I want. Nope, nope, nope. Butterfly Let's not sculpture. Do that. Yeah. Smile, butterfly. Is it this? No, it's definitely. Actually, I know not this that. song. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little butterfly. That's not the song. Look at how my screen is. Why is it always like this? Copyright, copyright. We got oh, yeah, sing over okay. all the copyright, <laughs> copyright, the copyright. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I, if I had to give this album a score, <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Two out of five. Yeah. yeah I feel like you suck. Um, no, I don't think the two out of five is a. I think that the only scores that you should be worried about are ones and zeros. And I, I think it was, I think it was totally adequate third wave ska. You give me some of the most basic shit <laughs> and you want to rank it a five out of five. And then you come over here and say, this album is a two. Totally adequate. Not even a tree, not even a three. No, it's not three. three. A three might be yeah. turn the radio off for me. Three is turn the radio off? Yeah. Why would you turn the... What is good enough for you then? Like a if five? you're just going to turn the radio off on a three. What, you no, just don't no, no, no. Listen to music no, the album. Stuck? No, the album by Real Big Fish. Oh. That's the name of the album, right? Yeah. That would be a oh. three. That would be a three. 
that's like as high as real big fish gets for me. I just think, you know, I feel like that's the thing is like, I'm a pretty casual ska fan. I know a decent amount of ska music, but I'm not like, I feel like Mm -hmm. if I were like super into it, like you are, then I'd get real deep into the discography and I'd probably like really enjoy the shit out of some of the the deeper cuts, but I'm more of like a, you know, listen to uh, madness once kind of guy. Eric, I want you to close your eyes for me. Okay. Uh huh. Close your eyes. Now, now imagine a ska song. Like, do you hear it in your head? Yep. Oh, it's a brand okay. new one I just made up I, in my head. I, I, I'm, I'm going to make it more likable for you. <laughs> <laughs> was that was that more to your tastes? Yeah, no, I mean, you know. Yeah, it is. If you did that once, if you did that and played it for me, I might be like, hmm, this is kind of kind of artistic. Honestly, I, you know, ugh. you know, um, artistic. You are. We'll, we'll end this episode. Pro- you're probably just wrong with our society. Get ready, get That's ready for true. daughters, dude. Oh my god, you're gonna fucking hate it. <laughs> okay, um, okay. And you got to give me an album oh. now too that I have to review. Okay, from here, right now, right here, I am going to give you an album. Please, not it's crazy time. Town. Not crazy. It's town. not crazy town. I'm not gonna do that to you. But what I am going to do to you is give you something that I know you like in a, in a context and version that I don't know if you will like. Oh, Eric, okay. I am going to give you Beetlejuice, the Broadway musical, the album. Oh, this is the one that, that Lauren Boebert was trying to give a handy to? Hell yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's what you get, baby. Boom. All right, all right. The Beetlejuice. <laughs> if you want something, listen, nothing tells a story like a musical. Let me tell you. They yeah. have to. It's, it's just part of the contract. I don't know Beetle. if you want the Beetlejuice original Broadway cast recording. There's 18 songs. Have a good time. <sighs> 18 songs. 18 songs. You know what? That's a good pick for Halloween. And so is mine, honestly. Good a Halloween. Spoopy picks. day. It's, it sure is a spoopy I've day. Recently, well, what, you recently you know, I recently, uh, I was talking to my buddy Patrick because he watches a whole franchise every every October with his uh, fiance. I do the um, same thing, Patrick. We just finished all of the Scream movies already. Scream is great. Scream yeah, is great. I think Scream actually, 1 and 2 is great. They're all and then decent, everything actually. after that falls off. Really? No, I, th- I feel like they were all pretty decent. As far as like, our like franchise one Matthew, go? Which one is Matthew Lillard in it? He's the, that's the first one. That's the best one. It's the oh, absolutely, that's the best one. What what's yeah, Patrick? I love watching? Matthew Lillard. Uh, he's watching uh, Halloween. Oh, those suck. <laughs> <laughs> there's like eighteen of those, he's and watch- two of them are good. <laughs> Three. Maybe. There's a lot of Halloween. Okay, so like the first one and two are good, right? But mm. I didn't. He didn't realize this because he's never seen Halloween at all. They've never seen the series. I know, right? I know. And I'm like, do. You, do you know there's like three fucking timelines in that movie? You're yeah. Like, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do like the original timeline, then they do the Rob Zombie reboot, and then the newer movies are all direct sequels from the first Halloween movie. Like, I don't think they're even sequels from part two of Halloween. Nope. They're just, yeah, so, you're right. Direct from the first. So there's like there's like three fucking timelines. Of isn't movies. there also? Isn't there also like doesn't is uh, maybe I'm wrong because I haven't seen all of them, but isn't there like a in the middle, in like the early two thousands, Jamie Lee Curtis comes back, and that's like also a separate timeline. That's the third timeline. Is is Jamie Lee Curtis? No, I think it's both the she third and the rules. fourth timeline. <laughs> no, no, no. There's only three. There's the original okay, there's timeline, three. and then there's the Rob Zombie movies. Yeah, and then there's the the new reboot slash direct sequels that have Jamie Lee Curtis in it. Unless Jamie Lee Curtis showed up in the original timeline as well. She she does. She comes back in H two O. Oh, well then who well that's a different timeline though. So it doesn't matter. Um Listen, before that they watched the Freddy movies, not the Freddy, the Jason movies, which I believe are is the best franchise because it is stupid and hilarious and Jason X is the best movie I've ever seen of all time. Dude, I can That's some Eric sentence right there. I see. I keep seeing the cover art for Jason Goes to Hell, and it's very intriguing. There's like a worm coming through his mask. Um, yeah, yeah. I've never seen a Friday the Thirteenth movie. Really? Not yeah, not any of them. Really? Oh. 
They're funny as shit. Oh, the They're actors are still on strike too. We can't be talking about this, especially with Jamie Lee Curtis. She was crossing the picket line. These are these are old movies, right? We're not promoting counts. new movies. No, it still counts. Fuck. According to cut Sarah all Africa. this, bleep all which, this, bleep all this. Which, by the way, um, shit. I'm sorry. They, their negotiations broke down recently. Oh fuck! Um, did they? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is I feel like now they feel like they have time. You know. They got the writers back on. Now the writers have to write something for the actors to act in. They're like, we got fucking time. We can string them along. So it's going to be a while, unfortunately. (laughs) We were talking about the overarching franchise. Uh, Whatever, man. We'll be okay. (laughs) We won't be banned from SAG-AFTRA. You know, know, that was was a long time coming, Joe. They're going to come up to us and be like, hey, would you guys like to join SAG-AFTRA because you're so amazing at acting? We'll be like, oh my god, yeah, but we talked about Halloween that one time. And they'll be like, you fucking need to leave. You fucking god assholes. How dare no, you? How but it's, dare you? But it's about the solidarity, Joe. I'll tell you what. It is. We need it, because they're not getting shit until we pull through this. And that's all. Goodbye, everybody. We've gone too long. We'll see you for the face piece every Monday Thank you for spending some of your time with us. And don't forget, Bye, there's still time to win one more figure. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah.